what is cement industry first and then I maybe talk a little bit about your own company. Yes, uh, you are right. Uh, in other, uh, addition to energy usage as well as uh, emissions of CO2, one of the major contributions of cement industry is also to create happiness by providing cement for home building. Mm -hmm. Having said that, you know, uh, energy consumption is more because we need to burn limestone and then that limestone uh, which gets burnt, that emits two things. Mm -hmm. One, it emits carbon dioxide which is uh, inherent in the limestone and secondly, it creates a uh, product called clinker and then that clinker makes the cement. Now, in this process, uh, I would say 55 to 60 percent emission is because of burning of limestone mm -hmm. and CO2 emission. Mm -hmm. And another uh, contributor is the energy consumption, coal or uh, any other fossil fuel or the uh, power. Mm -hmm. So these two are the major contributors. So now the challenge with the industry is how to bring down CO2 emissions so that uh, from 7 percent to contributor to global CO2 emission it comes down to 5, 3 and ultimately by 2050 zero. And second is continue to give the right quality of cement. Right. So tell us about your own company in the context of India now. You, you've said that you know Indian cement companies are almost 30 to 40 percent more uh, efficient than international cement companies. What does that mean? Uh, you know, uh, if we look at the global average of CO2 emission per ton of cement, which means that if you produce one ton of cement, how much carbon dioxide it emits. Mm -hmm. So on global average, it may be 800 to 850 kg per ton of cement. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you look at c cement companies of India, uh, it may be ranging from say 600 to maybe 750 or so. And the reason being is one, Indian corporates and particularly Indian cement captains, they've been quite conscious of uh, energy cost, mm -hmm. And at the same time, how we can f make full prof our uh, own profitability also. So these two have been the major contributor. And we have been innovating. Uh, we have been modernizing our cement plant, cement technology in a continuous way. And this type of example you won't find in Europe or US. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the most significant steps that you've taken. Uh, you're also expanding capacity, and I'll come yes. to that in a moment. But the significant steps that you've taken in both these areas, one is to reduce uh, the use of energy, and yes. the secondly is the input raw material, which also helps you, let's say, be a better uh, uh, carbon citizen, if we can call it that. Yes, yes, so right. So w what we did is that uh, last uh, few years, we've been making very conscious efforts. And in fact, I would say, that we started this journey in 2014-15 and then in 2018 we committed after taking into account all the levers which are possible or which would be possible that our company should be carbon negative by 2040. So it become carbon negative and climate positive. So what we did is we took certain steps. One, how to bring down the consumption of uh, limestone so that you know uh, less it is burnt, less uh, it uh, emits. So we started using waste product of other uh, sectors, for example, fly ash, fly ash of power plants, then uh, slag of uh, steel plants, a few others also. So we became one of the largest consumer of slag in India and at the same time gave the good quality of cement to the better quality of cement. So that was one part. Second, whenever we invested in our plant and machinery, we always ensured we go for best energy efficient system. And secondly, go on contributing to the energy processes in such a way that you consume the less. And let me tell you that today, Dalbia cement is having one of the lowest power consumption button of cement, not only in India, but globally also. And another action which we took is how to now transform from usage of 100% fossil fuel to 100% non-fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. So we are progressing in a big way and we are the leader in India in that way. Secondly, how to use waste hot gases of the cement plant by converting it into uh, power. So that also we have uh, moved forward. And third, how thermal energy transition can be to renewable energy. And you know like our commitment is that by 2030, we should be using only renewable energy, no thermal energy. By 2035, we'll be using only uh, non-fossil fuel, no fossil fuel. Right. But the challenge 
before us and before whole global cement industry is that how to handle the 50-55% uh, emission which comes from the process. And for that, uh, we have taken lead in creating a project which is carbon capture and its utilization. So it has been studied by Eastern Development Bank. Now they have identified that technically it is uh, physically uh, viable. At the same time, now it needs collaborators. It needs partner like partner from fertilizer sector or showdown sector or cluster sector, so that that uh, green that captured carbon dioxide can be used by these sectors, which otherwise they are generating by burning fossil fuel. So these are the few uh, areas on which we could. Uh, uh, lead forward and that's why I would say that today our uh, 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 CO2 emission per ton of uh, cement would be around 470 kg. Okay, that's almost half of what the global average is. Yes. Okay, so you're, you're producing roughly or you have a capacity of around 37 million tons. Yes. You're targeting 48 million tons yes. by next year. Now, what, how is the next 11 million tons going to be different from the previous 37? I mean, conceptually, in a context of uh, managing climate. Uh, there will be a few things. One, all plants which we will be putting up now will be having the waste heat recovery system. Second, they all will be having the system to utilize uh, all type of uh, non-fossil fuel. Third, uh, to the extent possible, immediately they would be having also facility of renewable energy. So, and the, on top of it, we will be producing to the extent possible again, the blended cement. When we say blended cement, it is low carbon cement. And when we do that, then we are able to use waste material of others also. So that way it's a win-win situation. And that's a great example of circular economy. Right. So, uh, if I were to now look ahead in, in the context of India, industry and cement, uh, you've talked about collaboration and, yes. and uh, working together for sustainability. Can you uh, and articulate what that exactly means and how that will manifest itself? Y yes. So, you know, uh, th there are various uh, examples of collaboration which is required to be there, which also fosters innovation. Say so one example is about this carbon capture and utilization. Now, this cannot be done only by cement company or cement industry. It would need collaboration from uh, financial institutions, banks, or the government. That is one. Second, it will need uh, collaboration with uh, uh, other sectors like uh, fertilizer, soda, ice, or construction sector. And third, it would also need some innovative technology because it's just uh, in the in, uh, initial stage also. So this collaboration, and, uh, and once it is done, and then once uh, international carbon market also which is going to develop now in a year or so and when these carbon credits gets uh, uh, traded in international carbon market then it will be a viable one. Mm -hmm. So this is the collaboration of uh, countries uh, because of international carbon market, it is collaboration of uh, banks, it is collaboration of other sectors also and at the same time it's an innovation because it's an innovative technology. So far, there are no such big uh, stage, uh, big uh, CCU plants which are operating in the world. Mm -hmm. So, consciously, not only Dalmia cement, but in general also, now it has been decided that we should uh, create certain demonstration projects and maybe Dalmia cement would be the first of such demonstration project. Right. Uh, before I ask you the last question, what's the one metric that you watch when, when it comes to, un, you know, looking at impact of climate change or changing climate, uh, what, what is the metric that you watch in the context of Dalmia cement? Uh, one would be our uh, uh, score on ESG mm -hmm. internally mm -hmm. and second one would be in that also uh, how much uh, low carbon cement we are producing and third whether it is supporting the philosophy of clean and green is profitable and sustainable. So my all action should lead to lesser CO2 emission mm -hmm. and at the same time better profitability. And I can say that yes, uh, least CO2 emission and one of the most profitable cement company. Got it. So last question. So uh, how, what do you uh, like to take away from a gathering like this, which is on climate tech? The, the wish which I have and that's why I've come here is to generate uh, the confidence of the people that until uh, that collaboration and innovation is required because we don't have to keep anything to ourselves only, but to collaborate with others because we are not working only for the organization. 
वी आर नॉट वर्किंग ओनली फॉर द कंट्री बट वी आर वर्किंग फॉर प्रजेंट एंड फ्यूचर जनरेशन सो लेटेस्ट वर्क टूगेदर एंड डोंट बी मीन माइंडेड बाई कीपिंग ऑल योर सक्सेस विद यू सो दिस दिस इज अ मैसेज एंड आई एम श्योर द वे नाउ इंटेक्शन आर हैपनिंग दैट पीपल विल कम फॉरवर्ड से लाइक द वे यू एन वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम एक्सेट्रा दे आर वर्किंग एंड लाइक यू माइट हैव हर्ड द क्रिएशन ऑफ फर्स्ट मोर क्वालिशन इन विच डाल मेसिमेंट इज वन द पार्टनर एंड दे आर द होल पर्पज इज दैट कंपनीज हु आर पार्ट ऑफ इट दे शुड बाई ग्रीन प्रोडक्ट इट मे बी एक्सपेंसिव देन वॉट द नॉर्मल प्रोडक्ट इज बट लेट दैम बाई इट सो दैट दे प्रमोट यूसेज ऑफ इनोवेटिव क्लीन टेक्नोलॉजी एज वेल द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस विच रिजल्ट इन लेसर सी टू अमिशन एंड लेटर लेसर पॉल्यूशन राइट मिस्टर सिंह थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्पीकिंग थैंक यू